I'm Anna Miller, the associate pastor here at First United Methodist Church in Albany. Welcome to our Tuesday Faith Tune-Up. I want to switch gears a little bit with you today and share two verses from Ezekiel in the Old Testament. Listen to what the Lord laid on Ezekiel's heart. I'll be reading from chapter 36, 22, and 23. This is what the Lord says. Therefore say to the house of Israel, thus says the Lord God, it is not for your sake, O house of Israel, that I am about to act, but for the sake of my holy name, which you have profaned among the nations to which you came. I will sanctify my great name, which has been profaned among the nations and which you have profaned among them. And the nations will know that I am the Lord, says the Lord God, when through you I display my holiness before their eyes. These are powerful words of prophecy that the Lord revealed to Ezekiel. And God said, the nations will know that I'm the Lord when, when I reveal my holiness through you before their eyes. How amazing is that? Think about that for just a minute. God is going to reveal his holiness through us before the very eyes of others. Last week, I mentioned that we live in a very chaotic world. And even though we can't control the world, we can only control what we can do with God's help. And we might ask, what is God's plan for this chaotic world? How is God going to sanctify his great name when the nations have profaned his name, when we have profaned his name? How is it possible that God is going to display his holiness before everyone's eyes through us, his church? What is the plan? You know, I'm always asking, what is the plan? Saturday morning, I don't care what the plan is. I just need to know what the plan is. So I'll ask Keith, hey, what's the plan for today? What are we doing for today? I don't care what we do. I just need to know what we're going to do. Well, you see, we are the plan. God's church is the plan through which he is going to reveal himself to the nations. We are, as the church, the light of Christ, and we are to share about the hope that we have in Jesus. In the chaos of life, we are God's plan to display his holiness. And the Lord says to Ezekiel, even in the Old Testament, he's talking about Israel. He says, the nations will know that I'm the Lord through you, and I will display my holiness before their eyes through you. How is that even possible? You might be thinking right now, how is that possible with me? How can God reveal his holiness and shine through me to others? This is only possible when we have a faith relationship with God, when we practice those spiritual disciplines on a daily basis and we are able to draw closer to God, then we will know his will, we will know his ways and his holiness can be displayed through us, when we worship him, when we do loving acts of kindness, when others see the character of Jesus in us, when they can see the fruits of the Spirit in us, when they see love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, self-control, goodness, and our faithfulness. When we live out that faith-life relationship, Others are able to see Jesus in us. Maybe others see something different in us and they wonder what is different about that person. They might ask, what is different about them? We might ask though, uh, as a people who are called to holiness, how are people able to see God's holiness through me? Is there And we might even ask, is there anything in me that is preventing that holiness from being displayed through me? Well, the Lord revealed to Ezekiel that all of the nations had profaned his name. So I want to encourage you for a minute. None of us are perfect. 
He says, even we have profaned God's name. We have violated his name. We have desecrated his name. We are only human. We don't always get it right. Yet, despite our deficiencies, God still desires to display his holiness in and through us because we are the plan. The church is still the plan through which God is going to do that. The Lord said, for my sake, I will sanctify my great name. And it is through us that he's going to do this. I believe in the depths of our hearts that we really want to glorify God. I know I do. We deeply desire to display his holiness. But the enemy is ever present, especially when we're doing the Lord's work. He is always sowing weeds, if you will, in our life and the world around us to keep us off track. And I'll share more about weeds next week. But for today, we are called to glorify God, to allow His holiness to shine through us. So how can we do that? I want to close with the beginning in mind, if you will. I think it starts with what the psalmist says in Psalm 139, 23, and 24. Now, I hope you'll read all of Psalm 139 this week. It is a beautiful chapter written by King David, a man after God's own heart. But he writes uh, in Psalm 139, 23, and 24. Listen to what King David says. He says, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my thoughts. See if there is any wicked way in me and lead me into the way everlasting. You see, it starts with what is in our heart and what is in our mind. Holiness starts with that open and true, that honest and trusting faith relationship that we have with our Creator who loves you and me more than all of those who love us put together. Spend some time in prayer today, and as King David says, ask God to reveal anything in your life that is profane or wicked, anything that is preventing God's holiness from shining through you. We all have something, me included. We're all sinners. We're all children of God just trying to share the Word of God. Whatever He reveals to you, confess it. Repent it, own it, if you will. And then together in relationship with the help of the Holy Spirit, he will enable you to continue on in this way everlasting and God will be able to display his holiness through you. I can't wait to see it. And I know others are gonna see it too. I hope you have a good week and I'll see you next time. 